Good morning, students. First two, Sabatiya Shastra online class lady, Ella Vidyarthigal in Swagadan Jayi. So, in the last session, we discussed about the price line or the budget line. In the other budget line, in the current class, we discussed it. Now, we are going to discuss some more aspects of budget line. Budget line is something that we are discussing in this session. Okay. And you know, we already assumed that consumer consumes only two goods. Good one and good two. And you know the price of the first good is equal to five. And price of the second good is also rupees five. And the income of the consumer is equal to twenty. P1 is equal to 5, P2 is equal to 5 and M is equal to 20. P1 is price of first good, P2 is price of second good and M is the income of the consumer. And look at this diagram. You get the budget line. What do you mean by budget line? Budget line represents all those consumption bundles which cost the consumer Exactly equal to his income. One ubabotha will thande varumanam muruven ubiyogichu adhyathine vangan kariyuna ubaboga bandile gorude kootatte yoshi pichal namukile bikinna reyeyan budget line. So you know the budget line is A E A and A E is the budget line. Yeah. So, what are the bundles in the budget line? 0, 4, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1 and 4, 0. All these bundles can be purchased by the consumer because this cost or the cost incurred by the consumer is exactly equal to the income of the consumer. Consumer ni bandel gal wangan bandi beri nna cello consumer le beri mana tu le tulie mai. So the consumer can purchase all these bundles. Tanda beri mana muluven, purna mai tu. Idu wangan ubi ubi kendi beri. Okay. So that is the budget line. And you see there are two extreme points in the budget line. Budget line. In the bottom of the material group, the budget line defines here. It is a straight line which consists of two intercepts. This budget line is the extreme cases. One is 4 0 and 0 4. This is the extreme case. Yoji picture pola ana nama ke budget line kita ni. So four zero and zero four. I four zero ena bundle ni nama beri kena pair ana horizontal intercept. So the bundle four zero denotes the horizontal intercept. In that way, horizontal intercept in the particular horizontal intercept in the parayan karam price line x axis in a order join chain the point you see the price line a e joins the x axis at this point for zero and the bundle na represent the chain na a bindu vya na Price line x axis is not coating with it. So x axis is a horizontal line. That is what we call the 4-0 in the E bundle. That is what we call the E in the denoted. That is what we call the horizontal intercept. So what is vertical intercept? Vertical intercept is 0-4. So this is vertical intercept. Vertical intercept is why I am carrying on y axis vertical line. So, if vertical y axis price line is a little bit of a 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 bit of a
വെർട്ടിക്കൽ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വെർട്ടിക്കൽ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് റെപ്രസെന്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ബണ്ടിൽ ഇവിടെ സീറോ ഫോർ സോ ഇൻ ബ്രീഫ് വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് ഫോർ സീറോ ഇസ് ദ ഒറിസാണ്ടൽ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് സീറോ ഫോർ ഇസ് ദ വെർട്ടിക്കൽ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് സോ ബജറ്റ് ലൈൻ ഇസ് എ സ്ട്രേറ്റ് ലൈൻ which consists of horizontal intercept and vertical intercept that means the budget line is a straight line with a horizontal intercept in this particular example budget line is a straight line with a horizontal intercept 40 and vertical intercept 04 അപ്പൊ ഈ നാല് പൂജ്യം എന്ന വെർട്ടിക്കൽ ഇൻട്രസെപ്റ്റ് എന്താ കാണിക്കുന്നത് ഇയർ ദ ഒറിസോണൽ ഇൻട്രസെപ്റ്റ് ഫോർ സീറോ ഷോസ് ദാറ്റ് കൺസ്യൂമർ ഈസ് സ്പെൻഡിങ് ഹാൾ ഈസ് ഇൻകം ടു ബൈ ദ ഗുഡ് വൺ ഒറിസോണൽ ഇൻട്രസെപ്റ്റ് കാണിക്കുന്നത് കൺസ്യൂമർ ഉപഭോക്താവ് തന്റെ വരുമാനം മുഴുവൻ എന്ത് വാങ്ങാൻ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നു ഗുഡ് ഒന്ന് വാങ്ങാൻ See, he is using all his income to consume four units of good one and zero units of good zero, good two. That is, Tandya Varimana Muruven, good umdini vendi, maati vikki. So, horizontal intercept kaani kina dada. Horizontal intercept kaani kina dada. Upapavthavu Tandya Varimana Muruven, good umdini varman vendi chana vani kina. so what does this vertical intercept shows the vertical intercept shows the consumer spending his entire income to buy good to puja good one naal unit good two and consumer ivada vaagunnathu so zero four enna vertical intercept kaadikkunnathu upabhoktaavu thande varumana mulvan good two vaagunnathu so horizontal intercept represent cheyuna bundles endayiru upabhoktavu thande varumana muluven good one vaangan vendi upayogikunu ennana horizontal intercept kaanikkunnathu vertical intercept kaanikkunnathu upabhoktavu thande varumana muluven good two vaangan upayogikunu ennalla so that is all about horizontal intercept and vertical intercept അപ്പൊ ഈ ഒരുസോണൽ ഇൻട്രസെപ്റ്റ് നമുക്ക് ഒന്ന് കൃത്യമായിട്ട് ഒന്ന് ഒന്നുകൂടി ഒന്ന് വിശദീകരിച്ച് നോക്കാം എങ്ങനെയാണ് ഈ ഫോർ സീറോ അതായത് ഉപഭോക്താവ് എങ്ങനെയാണ് തന്റെ വരുമാനം മുഴുവൻ ഗുഡ് വണ്ണിന് വേണ്ടി മാറ്റിവെക്കുന്നത് എന്ന് നമ്മൾ മാത്തമാറ്റിക്കലി ഒന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കാം സിമ്പിൾ മാത്സ് മീൻസ് ദ ഇൻകം ഓഫ് ദ കൺസ്യൂമർ യുനോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ട്വന്റി ആൻഡ് ദ പ്രൈസ് ഓഫ് the first good is 5 so income divided by the price you will get 4 so that is this 4 four units of good one and in the case of vertical intercept you know the income of the consumer is 20 and the price is 5 here you get 4 so 4 units of good 2 so horizontal intercept represent cheyunnathu m by p1 m by p1 means income of the consumer divided by price of the first good and what about the, the vertical intercept it is m by p2 that is m by p2 income of the consumer divided by the price of the second good so m by p1 denotes horizontal intercept and m by p2 denotes vertical intercept so that is all about the horizontal intercept and vertical intercept okay now we are going to discuss the significance of the points below the budget line 
and above the budget line. Budget line ne tarayi ulla bindu kalu. Budget line ne mugal ulla bindu kaldeyu. Explanation ana vishudiya ana. Enda ana adu suju pikinu. What is the significance? You know, you know the points on the budget line. You already know points on the budget line. Budget line ne oru bindu. Zero four one three two two three one and four zero. Here A B C D E. Now we can't see that. Now we both have that. Now we are going to move. Tell us what you can do in the lab. And now take the case of point F. F is the bindu area. And the idea is that F is the bindu area. We both have a bond in the panel one one. That is the area we are going to move. It is, it is lying below. It is lying below the price line. Budget line is tarre and F cut up. If budget line is tarre cut up, then bindu in the pratyega da in the parangge da. You know, consumer is not spending all his income. Consumer thande varumana purna maithu chale vadi ki nila. One one and the bande one na dene vendi. कंस्यूमर ने ठंडे ये एक्साम्बल ली दिवों दे रूप आप बुरे वालों चलाओ ये क्या एंडा कार्य नहीं था इतना मात्रा ये चलाओ ये क्या एंडा दूर लो वन वन इन द बिंदु नोका नम्र कंस्यूमर एक्सपेंसेस कंडर बिया नम्र कार्य हैं पी वन एक्स वन प्लस पी क्यू एक्स टू वन यार इस पी वन इस फाइव कंस्यूमर ने इतने रुपए चलवाए क्या मधी पांच रुपए मधी इस इनकम इस ट्वेंटी सो वन वन एंड ना बंडल वांगन कंस्यूमर ने तंडे वाले माने हम रुपए नहीं चलवाए क्या इन्दर नहीं आता मींस द कंस्यूमर इस नॉट स्पेंडिंग इस एंटीर इनकम टू बाय द बंडल वन वन विच लाइज बिलो द बजट लाइन और � I take the case of G, it is also lies below the budget line, one, two, consumer line, you know, price is five into one, five into one, plus five into two, that is five plus ten is fifteen. If on the end of the bundle one, consumer is the income of the consumer is twenty. But if the consumer is the consumer, we will give you. Pak consumer tanda warimana mulu na itu mubiyo kya ta beri unda bandil sokka beri unda debi dia ikim budget line dah tar. So the points below the budget line represents the consumer is not using his entire income to buy the bandils. Some income is left over. Kacu warimana chale beri kya ta kena tu unda consumer sebiji tu. Okay. That is the significance of the point below the budget line. Here in the case F and G. And take the case of H. H and the bindu no idea. H every situation in the every another H kind of point. The point the point H is lying above the budget line. Three three and the bundle kind of another budget line of Mughalia. And other representation of the consumer no puri kelu. E three three and the bundle one carry it up because at the end the income atra illa. E three and three and the bundle one and consumer atra ruba chakwari kya? You know P one X one plus P two X two. Adhanu adhamal expense calculate. What is P one? P one is five. What is in the case of H X one three? P2 is again 5 and X2 is 3. So 5 and 3 is 15. 15 plus 15 is equal to 30. This is the bundle of the bundle of the consumer. But what is the income of the consumer? It is only 20. That is why the consumer cannot purchase this H or 3 3 bundle. So the point above the budget line means the consumer could not be able to purchase the Consumption bundle which lies above the budget line because his income is less. He has to get more income to buy this bundle. If you have a bundle, you can consume the cost of the bundle. 
so that is all about the points on the budget line the points below the budget line and points above the budget line the points on the budget line represents the entire income is used by the consumer to buy those bundles a budget line in the middle is the consumer and the consumer is the same as the consumer below the budget line the points below the budget line represent the consumer and the consumer is the same as the consumer case of F and G points above the budget line in the bar in the H H in the bar in the budget line a point representing in the consumer in the year bundle one and the very manner in the in the world at the other way one of the key deal so that is all about the different points on the budget line below the budget line and above the budget line so in the Next class we will discuss about the slope of the budget line. Budget line ne chhiri ne kuchh aana hoga. Anta class discuss hoga. Till then, goodbye. Thank you.